This poor Indian spent all his savings. He finally got a first class ticket. All he wanted was to meet the airline giant, because he had a dream to start an airline that everyone could afford. He shook hands with his idol. He didn't realize that the next moment, his idol was sanitizing his hand right in front of him. He told his idol about his business plan, but he rejected it on the spot, because the idol wouldn't allow the poor and the rich to fly on the same plane. The idol said that he was going to push him to the back of the economy class. The man was not happy on the spot. He said that if he bought a first class ticket, he has the right to sit here. He didn't realize that just by the rich man's words, a plane worth tens of billions of dollars could be turned back immediately. You own the ticket. I own the plane, my friend. But what he doesn't know is, today he'll look down on this person, would later become his most formidable opponent. The man's name was Nedimaran. He was born in a remote village in India. It's not easy to get around, and is very backward. His father has been writing letters for 10 years to change the situation. His father hoped that a train stop could be set up here, but all his letters went unanswered. As it grew up, Nedimaran had his own ideas. He led a mass protest on the tracks, but what he got in return was a violent eviction by the local police. During the scuffle, one of his friends injured his eye. When he returned, his father was not happy with his son's behavior. He believes that violence will not solve the problem. But in Nedimaran's opinion, what was the point of the father's letter? During the argument, the father slapped his son. Nedimaran ran away from home in a rage, but he didn't realize that today would be the last time he would see his father. After that, Nedimaran joined the army. He became a pilot, and during that time, he used to write letters home, and his mother would read them out to his father. Until this day, Nedimaran received a death notice from his father. Before he died, his father wanted to see his son one last time. Nedimaran promised to be home tomorrow at the Mevan M. Sharp, but when he arrived at the airport, he was dumbfounded. How hard it is when you have no money? He wanted to buy a ticket home, but he didn't have enough money. The plane leaves in five minutes. Today was his only chance to see his father for the last time. He knelt down and asked all the passengers for money. He took out his officer's uniform to identify himself. He said he would pay back the money in the future, but no one in the room would pay any attention to him. He was dragged away by the security guards. Nedimaran was forced to take other means of transportation, but by the time he got home, he couldn't see his father for the last time. He looked at the letters his father had written. Nedimaran was devastated. Before he died, his father had hoped to see him one last time, but in the end, he never did and that was the regret of his life. Since then, he had a bold idea to make airplanes affordable for all ordinary people. But dreams need money to support. After he retired from the military, he started raising money. When Nedimaran was worried about money, he received a call from his bank. The staff told him, your account has been credited every day. The villagers gambled everything. They wanted Nedimaran's airline to start. Will change their lives? Next step, Nedimaran found an airstrip left behind by the British. He repaired it and made it perfect for landing his small airliners. Then he found a friend who developed online ticketing. Ordinary people could buy tickets just by calling, but he had trouble finding a pilot because the airline next door offered three times as much for all the pilots. But that didn't stop Nedimaran. He brought in some retired military pilots. Air Force pilots retire at 57 and civilian pilots retire at 61. That means they could fly for another four years. And so Nedimaran succeeded in launching Air Deccan. But he didn't expect an accident on his first test flight. As the plane was taxiing, smoke suddenly billowed out. In an instant, the question of low-cost airlines hit the headlines. Journalists were scrambling to cover the story. Cheap flights are killing people. People won't fly on Deccan anymore. His flight was likely to be his last. A few days later, Nedimaran was overhauling the plane when he realized the problem. He confronted the captain of the day. It turned out that the captain had been paid by the airline giant. He had deliberately poured the wrong oil on the day of takeoff, which led to the accident. The captain took full responsibility for the accident. Although this proves that it's not the airline's problem, but there are still questions about the safety of low-cost airlines. Nedimaran's pent-up emotions finally erupted, but he couldn't just give up. He went on TV and spoke his mind to the audience to prove the safety of the plane. On his next flight, he would take his three favorite people with him, his mother, his wife, and his daughter. But on the day of takeoff, Except for his family, not a single passenger came on board. Nedimaran began to wonder if he really didn't have what it takes to start a low-cost airline. Just when he was feeling desperate, the employee in charge of booking came to tell him. Due to the number of tickets purchased for this flight, the software crashed, and the tickets were automatically returned. But all the other flights were fully booked. Soon the first flight landed without a hitch. Nedimaran ran up to greet them with excitement. He watched as everyone stepped off the plane one by one. Nedimaran couldn't help but feel happy. 
they probably didn't think they'd ever get on a plane. The mother is also proud of her son. She is holding his portrait in her hand. I'm sure he would have been proud of his son. At that moment, the airline giant that had been targeting him called. Come we meet. I have a business plan for you. I don't need it anymore. The poor have flown away now. They'll keep on flying.